So guys, I've changed my mind about Sketchy Medical. Here's my updated review of the full Sketchy Medical series from Sketchy Micro, Farm, and Pathology, and how I recommend using it based on my experiences in the last few months. So previously I personally thought that Sketchy Medical was mostly just useful for Sketchy Micro, which covered the microbiology, but recently having had to study a lot of information trying to review the first years of medical school, I realized that there was so much information and I was starting to mix up in, uh, different pieces of information together, I was starting to forget a lot of the small details, and I found that Sketchy was really helpful even with pharmacology and pathology just to help remember and organize the information in my mind. So today I'm going to First, give a quick overview of Sketchy in case some of you haven't heard of Sketchy yet or aren't using it yet. Then I'm going to be talking about the ranking of how I think each of the Sketchy micro farm or pathology are useful. And then I'm going to be talking about when to use Sketchy and also how to use Sketchy most effectively that I found based on my experiences. So for those of you that don't know, a quick overview of Sketchy, it's basically a visual storytelling memorization device which uses painted out stories through uh, pictures and each part of the picture corresponds to a detail that you need to know in microbiology, pathology, or pharmacology. By painting out the pictures and having a picture that represents like a certain disease process or a certain drug, you're able to better remember the details of that drug uh, by remembering the images in that story. It's a great way to memorize and it's also fun too, which brings me to the reasons my opinion on Sketchy has changed. Looking over the past years of material and having to try to remember all of it when I'm studying for board exams, I realized that there's so much information that I was starting to jumble up uh, different pathologies, different um, drug mechanism, mechanisms of action, and all kinds of like fine details that I needed to remember. And I was also kind of getting bored looking through all that information and trying to remember it just through like brute, brute force, through like memorization, uh, through repetition, things like that. So I found using Sketchy was a nice break from conventional studying techniques. And it was also a way to better organize the information in my head. And that's really what I recommend Sketchy for. I recommend using Sketchy to help organize the information in your head and better remember all the fine details of whatever topic you're studying. And I think this applies to Sketchy Micro, Farm, and Pathology. So uh, to rank them, I would still recommend Sketchy Micro to be the highest yield of the three. The whole series is about 14 hours and the videos are around I think 5 to 20, maybe 15 minutes. So they're pretty concise and they're very high yield. So each, each part of the picture has pretty high yield and relevant references. As you go into farm and pathology, some of the uh, word associations or the uh, pictures tend to have weak associations with what they're trying to describe but most of micro is pretty high yield and 14 hours is very manageable so I think definitely if you had to use a micro resource I'd recommend using Sketchy Micro to help you uh, remember the details. For uh, pharmacology I think since there are so many details in farm I have a hard time remembering uh, small details uh, for mechanisms of action and their effects and alterations that microbes use to gain resistance to these drugs and it, it tends to be a little bit boring for me to just memorize lists of details so Sketchy Farm is, um, I think it's also beneficial. Earlier I didn't think it was as beneficial, but having to again look back through the first years of medical school and remember all the small details of all the different drugs and the different organ systems, I really think it's beneficial to look through Sketchy Pharmacology and uh, remember the images since they'll help a lot with all the small details. Sketchy Farm is about 30 hours and some of the associations are a little bit weaker, so it's not as high yield as, um, or it's not as efficient and high yield per like, unit of time that you're spending uh, watching the videos or reviewing the videos as a Sketchy Micro, but I think it's still very useful, especially since the alternative would be to just make basic flashcards or do just constant repetition, like rereading and things like that. For Sketchy Farm, the videos, uh, some of the videos end up being up to like 38 minutes or so, which, for example, the NSAIDs video is around 30 minutes and the associations aren't as high yield, so if you are limited on time or you don't want to spend all the 30 hours on Sketchy Farm, I'd recommend focusing on whatever drugs you're weakest in. I'd recommend doing all of Micro, but for Farm, you could be a little bit more selective and maybe try to figure out which drugs are weak points for you, but for me personally, I think it's good to just go over all of them and maybe leave out one or two, like maybe NSAIDs I heard weren't the most effective for most people, but overall I think it'd be worth it, worth your time to go through all of them. So lastly, Sketchy Pathology, which is the last block that they ended up making. This series ended up being 50 hours, so it's pretty extensive. And this is probably the section I'd recommend being most selective with your time, especially if you're limited on time or you don't want to spend 50 hours watching video, which is a lot. I think Sketchy Pathology is effective, but if you want to be mo the most efficient, you may want to just pick topics that you're weakest in. So for example, sometimes I'll mix a lot of the hematological malignancies uh, together. And if you have a similar issue, you, you might just focus on the chapters in Sketchy Pathology that focus on leukemias and lymphomas and things like that. Personally, I ended up watching all of it just uh, to be safe, but I think the smartest 
thing to do if you're trying to be the most efficient would be to be selective with whatever you're weakest in and focus watching the videos on the chapters of the subjects that you're weakest in. I did notice that some of the associations were weaker in sketchy pathology as well. It's probably because there are so many organ systems that are covering. Obviously there's so many, uh, so much content that they're covering since it's 50 hours and um, it's probably hard to make associations with everything. So some of the associations are weak. I did notice even a few mistakes uh, with some of the uh, things that they described, like maybe like one or two, but overall I think it's a good resource and I'd recommend um, looking into it especially if you do have trouble remembering different details of various pathologies. Now when to use it, I think as I mentioned before, Sketchy is more of a tool that's used to organize the information in your head and also remember it better. Sketchy doesn't provide a lot of contextual details into the diseases or microbes or different pharmaceuticals and so I wouldn't recommend using it as a primary resource. In my video link down below I previously talked about different high yield medical school resources from primary to secondary tertiary and other types of resources that you can use. You can check that out if you're looking for more primary or other resources. But uh, for your first pass, I highly recommend not using Sketchy since Sketchy doesn't provide a lot of context into the details that they're talking about. So one, it wouldn't be very effective since you wouldn't know the details and you'd have to keep looking up information. And two, you'd have to remember both the, so you'd have to memorize the association and the concept, which makes the Sketchy video not as effective. So for when to use Sketchy Medical, I recommend you start off with a primary resource material like your school lectures or boards and beyond, or another of the primary resource materials that I uh, mentioned below in my previous video that I'll link down below. So next, if you're studying micro or pharmacology, I'd recommend you look through first aid and at least briefly look through whatever topics that were covered in those sections that you're trying to study. So let's say you just uh, study the different gram-positive organisms like staph and actinomyces from your primary learning materials. So after going through your primary resource material, I'd recommend you, uh, if you're studying micro, you'd go through the relevant sections of micro in first aid. Same way if you're studying with uh, pharmacology, you'd go through the recommended uh, or the relevant study sections in first aid. If you're studying pathology, I recommend you go through the relevant sections in pathoma actually, especially, well the videos ideally, but uh, if you're limited on time, just the outlines in the books which are very concise and barely take any time for the amount of information that you gain. And what this does is before looking at sketchy videos it gives you some context to what you're studying since again like I mentioned before sketchy doesn't provide a lot of context and at least having a like a, a quick review maybe tw uh, 10 20 minutes or even 5 minutes uh, of whatever concepts that you're studying for the day through a review sort of resource like First Aid or Pathoma. It really helps with one, getting the most out of Sketchy and also uh, saving time on Sketchy. So if you're learning the material for the first time and then you go jump into Sketchy right away, you're having to remember the association uh, that uh, Sketchy makes like with whatever random picture that they're trying to paint and you're trying to remember the detail that you just learned. However, if you quickly review the material that you learned uh, with a review resource, it's another pass in between learning Sketchy. So you're able to just focus on the remembering the association since you already know the fact that the video is trying to teach. And this also allows you to perhaps speed up the Sketchy videos to like 1.5 or 2 speed, uh, maybe 1.25 if you need a little bit more time, and still get the most out of Sketchy. I think it's best to weave Sketchy into your regular studying, so I wouldn't recommend going through, like I actually did this for some blocks uh, where I just did like 30 hours of Sketchy straight. I don't think it's very effective since the pictures start to blur together and you don't have that a kind of uh, active recall in between um, if you're just like plowing through videos. I think what's best to do is to study a section like let's say you're studying gram positives in uh, gram positive bacteria in school. You go through your primary resource materials, you go through your secondary resource materials, then you start uh, working on sketchy and you go through the relevant chapters. So um, all the chapters on like staph aureus, on actinomyces, uh, maybe you'll review some pharmacology on uh, penicillins since they are used to treat actinomyces and staph and um, this allows you to weave in the videos nicely and gives you a break from both just text-based resources and uh, the pictorial representations of Sketchy. So I think they this interlacing helps your overall learning and will help you remember the will not only help you learn the material better but also remember it better in the long run. It also helps prevent you from getting bored and also prevents information from sort of blending together like the different pictures uh, start to blur together after a while, especially if you do a lot in one sitting. Okay, so for how to use Sketchy, I think w once you get to the point where you're using Sketchy, I recommend, uh, this is actually a method I learned from someone online as well as some things that I tweaked for myself. So I recommend starting Sketchy at a comfortable pace, whether that's a normal speed or 1.25, 1.5, some people think 
quickly, so maybe like even two uh, two times speed. I'd recommend going through, trying to remember all the details as you usually would. But after you watch the video, I think it's highly valuable if you take a second, you pause, uh, scroll down to hide the image on the screen, and you go through the whole story in your mind. So I'd recommend uh, taking that extra time, maybe that five, ten minutes, to play back the story in your mind, and whatever you forget, you can turn on the hotspots for, which are under the video if you've bought the service, or you can refer to a PDF with the annotations on the video. And I think this is more helpful than just looking at hotspots on a picture, which uh, Sketchy provides underneath the video, if you do have it, or just looking at a PDF. Because when you're taking a test, or seeing a patient, you're not going to have a picture of that relevant sketchy in front of you. You're going to have to remember what picture was painted when they talked about whatever drug or pathology that was, and uh, you're not going to have any kind of prompting or cueing. So I really, really recommend you try this method where you pause after a video, try to play back the video in your head and test yourself. I know this really helped me remember the details of Sketchy better and also helped me remember it better in the long run. And sometimes it's frustrating to sit down and have to spend the extra time like uh, playing things back in your head, it kind of almost feels like wasted time sometimes, but I think you'll find it really helpful if you are struggling with remembering the different details in Sketchy or you're ha having trouble remembering details of micro pharma pathology. Next, after using Sketchy and doing that uh, review exercise, I recommend going into Anki and downloading the Salt deck for Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm and the Konana deck, I believe it's called, for Sketchy Pathology. These are two Anki decks created by Reddit users. And I'll include links to them down below in the description box. I usually keep two separate profiles since I heard some of the cards do overlap, I heard. And it can uh, mess up your card order if you did start one or you have other issues with like formatting or things like that. So I usually just keep two separate profiles. You can make multiple profiles in Anki if you're not aware. And I usually keep Sketchy and Farm on one deck and Pathology on another since uh, those, are, those are made by two different users. What I recommend is again not doing Sketchy in a huge chunk where you're just going through like all of Micro in one day or all of Farm in one day. So again interlace, interlacing videos in while you're studying is great. It, it provides you a break and also helps with overall memory consolidation. So I recommend once you study a topic like let's say antiarrhythmics, have a current deck in your profile that has all the sketchy cards that you've learned so far and all, all the topics that you've covered so far and uh, move whatever topics that you covered through the search function and just copy them and move them to a current deck. So what I like to do is do several videos in Sketchy so that I can just move a, a block of it into my current deck. So let's say I'm studying the renal system. I try to get through all the uh, renal videos um, while I'm studying and I'd move that whole renal system deck to my current deck and as I study another system like cardiology or neurology or the musculoskeletal system, I'll just move those systems into my current deck and my when I study I, I'd click on my current deck and study that current deck which has all the topics that I've covered. So that's my overall workflow. Again, I think Sketchy Micro is the most helpful. Sketchy Farm is uh, still helpful but a little bit longer. It's double the length of Sketchy Micro, 14, uh, 30 hours versus 14 hours. And Sketchy Pathology is very helpful, but it's probably best to be a little bit more targeted with what videos you watch since it's 50 hours and um, some of the associations aren't as strong, so probably it's best to focus on your weakest subjects or weaker subjects, but if you do have time, try to get through all the videos and I think that'll be helpful. Again, I recommend positioning Sketchy in your studying where you're interweaving it with learning facts through your primary resource materials and your secondary resource materials, and then going on to reviewing the basic knowledge that you learned through uh, review resources like First Aid or Pathoma. And only after that, moving on to Sketchy, where you watch the videos, you review the videos in your head, and test yourself, filling in the blanks with your notes or with the Sketchy hotspots on their website. And finally, moving whatever relevant cards that you studied for that day in Sketchy into your current Anki deck, using the Salt or the Kanada decks that different Reddit users provided. And over time, ideally you'd get all the cards that you studied in the different organ systems, or the micro or the pharmacology systems into your current deck and uh, everything will be covered. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bar as well so you're notified of my next post. Uh, comment down below any um, tips that you have for studying, any uh, videos that you want to see from me in the future, maybe any other resources that you like using that I didn't talk about or I haven't talked about. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for sticking around this long. Hope some of it was helpful and have a good time studying. If you're still watching, why don't you comment down below 
If you'd like me to make more, I was thinking of making like fun style videos, but I'm not sure if you guys really want to see that. Do you guys want to see like some of my art stuff or do you want me to keep it on a separate channel? Do you guys want me to see, do you guys want to see me doing like dumb things or like food challenges or something? Or do you just want me to make boring medical videos like usual? I don't know. If you want me to do that, I'll keep doing it. But um, yeah, just let me know down below and uh, we'll see what I can do. I really hope the audio is on for this one. Ooh, this, this, this lighting's kind of fun.